Hi, my name is Bill Smith. I'm President and CEO of XL Plus International Incorporated, and I'm here to bring you a bunch of information you may find very interesting. Uh, in 19, oh, I believe it was 93, I was down in Florida buying boats, shipping them to Europe, and I ran across a product because of a yacht I sold to someone, tried it, and because of that, I spent three years researching lubrication tribology, basically the way metals, additives, and chemicals work in engines, transmission, differentials. And I'm, I'm not a tribologist by any standards, nor am I an engineer. I'm a very educated consumer, and I'm probably more dangerous than most people. And what I found out was is there was a guy who made a formula in 1975 that to this day has never been reverse engineered. It has been sold under various private labels like Lubrolon, Slick 50. He started Slick 50 in 1978, discontinued supplying in 1984 because, quite frankly, one of his partners embezzled $11 million. That's, more of that's on a DVD. Uh, you're going to see things like Mario Andretti driving a car around, uh, along with Michael Andretti driving a car around with no oil in the engine up and down the interstate for 53 miles. And this formula has been around, it's been race proven and, and tested by major labs and universities as well as governmental agencies uh, such as the U.S. Department of Energy. They said we could cut fuel consumption by 100 million barrels of fuel a year, actually by over that, by adding this one bottle to all car engines. We have a product for truck engines, aircraft engines, snowmobiles, jet skis, lawnmowers, whatever it is. We also have transmissions, differentials, uh, spray lubricants, greases, and whatnot. Uh, even a product that probably could have prevented the uh, air aircraft catastrophe out in Alaska with the Alaskan airline crashes. And it's the same base principle technology in this bottle as it is in a lot of our products. And then we have another different technology for different applications like automatic transmissions and such. But anyway, I was buying boats shipping to Europe, and, and a gentleman I sold a boat to had told me about this product, and quite frankly, I thought they were all snake oil. And I think at that time, Prolong, Durlube, and uh, Slick 50 were on TV. And I tried the product in my car and saw a difference in performance. The car was peppier. But what convinced me was is when I moved back to Virginia, a friend of mine owned a Mercedes shop, and I was trying to con him into treating these Mercedes engines, and he's like, no way, I don't put nothing in these cars. But... I had two testimonials. One said a Cadillac was driven 300 miles without oil in the engine. Another one said an aircraft was flown for 18 minutes with nothing in the crankcase, with no damage to either one. So he agreed to do a test, which was we were going to treat this engine out back in an old Volvo, run it for several days, drain the oil out, so long it took to blow up. And I said, great. But every time I went in, he was busy and, you know, didn't have time for it. But finally one day I went in and uh, to clarify a little bit, I put the product in my Honda Accord, it was a 1992 Honda Accord at 30,000 miles. And it's the same Honda you're going to see in another clip where we were shipping the product to Poland where it was driven 26 miles on the interstate without oil in it. Uh, and about that time I think I had about 45,000 miles on the car and I changed the oil several times. So I went in to do this test thing and I uh, said, Hans, when are we going to do this test? His name's Hans Holreiter, he owns a place called Auto House in Yorktown, Virginia. And he said, uh, well, you got this stuff in your car, don't you? I said, yeah. He said, let's drain the oil out of your car and see how far it goes. I went, what? <laughs> I thought we were going to do this old Volvo back here. He said, well, you believe in your product, don't you? I was like, uh, yeah. So they put my car up on the rack, and they pulled the oil plug out. And I remember walking outside going, God, I hope this stuff works. Cranked the car up, and we ran it for about an hour. And finally he said, uh, well, take it out and drive it. And I said, well, why don't we run it right here? He said, well, you said you could drive a car with that oil in the engine. I was like, Oh, uh, yeah. Talking about putting your money where your mouth is. So they put my car down on the rack, put it down on the ground. I took it out and I drove it 15 miles. And honestly, I was just constantly waiting for the engine to blow up because my previous backgrounds, I own bulldozers and dump trucks and a lot of heavy equipment. And, and I've had incidents like this come along, and my engines blew up and so did my transmissions. But I drove this car 15 miles, pulled back into the shop, and he said, Wow, we're just going to come after you with a wrecker. And I said, No. Something's working. He said, uh, well, let's put oil back in it. I said, tell you what, let's do 300 miles. So every morning, every night, I'd go back in the shop and let her check my car out, make sure nothing was coming apart, and I would drive locally, towing distance. But I would go into a mechanic shop and say, hey, I'm driving my car without oil, and they'd pull the oil plug out and go, wow. And, and I did that for days. In fact, at the end of a week, I had 300 miles on the car. So needless to say, I was pretty impressed. And In fact, at one time on one trip down the interstate, we were doing 90 with no oil in the engine. In fact, you'll see in the, on this DVD in the part where we shipped to Poland, uh, this guy is driving my car. He had the engine up to, I believe, nine, 90 miles an hour at about 55 uh, of oh, 6,000 RPMs. And you can see this, unlike the other competitors, from inside the car with him driving, not me. And the camera crew sitting behind me, and I'm in the passenger seat. 
So Neil said, that's how I start out selling this product. And a lot of competitors have come and gone over the years, products like Prolong, Duralube, uh, Engine Muscle, Power Up, Energy Release, Friction Wedge, uh, Slick 50, Duralube. And what happened was, is any of those that went on television, the Federal Trade Commission sued most of them for false advertising because they required, for truth in advertising, you have governmental lab and university studies. So they sued Prolong, Duralube, MotorUp, Slick 50, uh, ZMAX, um, Valvoline's TM8, all for false advertising. That's why you don't see them on TV anymore. And if you do, they can't make any claims. In fact, you need to go to www.ftc.gov. And in the search box, type in Prolong or Slick 50. And look at the lawsuits. You know, one company tried to put a spin on it saying, oh, well, you know, we, we changed our ads. Well, it's not true. They still can't make claims. And we kind of get into some of the base chemistries as to why they can't do what this product has done. Now, this formula is pretty unique, as I've told you before. And in this DVD, you'll see the Slick 50 story with John Bishop, the inventor. You'll see cars being driven without oil, testimonials from what crane operators, marine uh, boat owners from, oh, we sponsored a guy that went from East Millinock at Maine to Bemidji, Minnesota and back on a snowmobile with no mechanical fares after he treated his engine. In fact, he wound up picking up five more horsepower. You're going to see a kind of bunch of testimonials that are probably like the Loch Ness Monster and Sasquatch in the sense that we're the real thing behind the myth that people have been telling for years, in fact, these stories. In fact, some of our competitors, I believe, have treated engines with our product and then sold you something different. Uh, in fact, that's one reason one of the major competitors was sued. Uh, the president was sued for false advertising for fraud. So I hope you watch the whole DVD. I hope we don't bore you to tears, but uh, you're going to see some pretty interesting things. And at the tail end of it, we're going to go over all of our products um, because we do have greases. We've got a product to help you pass emission testings. We've got products for automatic transmissions, manual transmissions, differentials, spray lubricants, greases, uh, aircraft engine treatments, marine engine treatments, two-cycle engine treatments, snowmobiles, jet skis, uh, four-wheelers, whatever it is. ExoPlus wants to be your proprietary chemical company, even if you own a major manufacturing factory, because we have products that will save you money, because the coating is the magic. That coating is one to two microns thick, it bonds to the metal surfaces, and you can't remove it unless you grind it out. Uh, we've tried ads, acids, solvents, detergents, can't get it out. Uh, and one last thing, just kind of a proof in the pudding thing, here are two pistons. As they came out of cars, neither one of these were cleaned. This came out of a Honda that I believe had around 100,000 miles on it, and this is how it came out. All this black on top is carbon from additive breakdown from your oils. The rings are pretty much stuck. They're not uh, moving around the way they should be. The wrist pin is starting to get stuck. And this piston is atypical of most car engines. This is the piston out of that Honda Accord I had that you'll see in the DVD. After it was driven 168,000 miles, I drove this car a total of, I believe, 4,700 miles with that oil in the engine. 300 miles the first time, I would retreat the engine, drain the oil out, and drive it again. And I kept doing that over and over over the years, and that's how I already sold the product. But all the rings are still loose. There's no carbon stuck to the pistons. And this, again, is how it came out of the motor. So we can keep your engines like new forever. So if you want more information about XL Plus, go to our website or call our toll-free numbers on here. And get a product that can really help you out. If you're one of our investors, we thank you for buying stock in our company, which is XLPI. And thanks.